My name is Dr. John Caruso. I am a pediatric, prenatal, family wellness chiropractor in Katy, Texas. And in this video, I want to share with you a deep dive into chronic coughs and why these things linger for so long. Because now more than ever, the one thing that we are seeing is that our kids' chronic sickness, so the congestion, the drainage, the coughs, are lasting so much longer and being so much harder to kick. Let's be honest, coughs can be the absolute worst, and they often come on after the congestion is cleared out, they disrupt our sleep, they make it hard for our kids to go back to school and for us as parents to go back to work, and they seem to linger for such a long time. And if your child is struggling with a chronic cough that won't go away or comes back after every little cold or congestion, then this video is for you. Oftentimes we really look for a more natural way to kick this cough and the immune system stuff. So we use humidifiers and nebulizers, extra pillows on the bed for drainage, you name it, as parents, we've all tried it. But far too often what's being recommended is a suppressant or an antibiotic if it then settles in long term. And in this video, what we really wanna talk about is what we can do instead of these medications and treatments and then kicking this cough out before it ever becomes chronic and ever returning. I love sharing stories within my practice because we get to see cool things like this happen all of the time. And in a far too familiar and common story, I wanna share with you a little bit about a little boy named Ryan. And then when Ryan came into our office, his mom shared with us that his immune system was pretty weak. He was getting sick for like three weeks at a time and really that he was picking up any cold, any cough, any congestion, any virus and bacteria all of the time. And then he was really only having like one healthy week out of the month, if even that. He also had a lot of ear infections. And then with every single cold, like I said, he would then experience it for about two to three weeks or so. And it, they were really only getting that healthy week per month. And like many children, Ryan struggled with many things that then led to him having this consistent cough and immune system stuff. In addition to the cough and the chronic ear infections, he really struggled with sleep and he really struggled with speech stuff. And so his mom could really count on one hand how many times that Ryan was actually sleeping through the night in the first couple of years. And that she knew how much his, ner his nervous system and his weakened immune system was contributing to him being sick all the time. And so I love sharing stories like that because what's cool is that things change in a really big way for these kids when we start looking at the nervous system. Two really cool stories that Ryan's mom shared with me. We were, we were in his restoration phase of care. She was like, you know, he, he got a fever over the weekend. And like what would have knocked him out for a couple of weeks, he kicked in like 12 hours. I was like, man. It's really cool what happens when these kids' and nervous systems are clear and connected and they're stress-free and things are functioning and working as well as they possibly can. She shared with me another story as he transitioned from restoration care to wellness care. She was like, you know, we used to go to the pediatrician a lot for sick visits and well checks and all the things, but you know, like since we started seeing you and coming and him getting chiropractic care, like we actually haven't gone to the pediatrician in like several months and like that's a really big deal and I was like hey like these are the cool things that I hear from parents all of the time where it's like our kids used to be sick all the time for weeks on end and now they're like kicking it and thriving so he's able to come into the office and get adjusted he's able to do his speech therapy and his OT he's able to do all of the things that his parents are using resources and time to be able to go and do to support his health and wellness and he's really building true health and wellness on the inside and so you know whenever we start diving into chronic coughs and the immune system struggles as a pediatric chiropractor I see lots of kids struggling with coughs. And so when we start looking at coughs or chronic coughs, specifically through a different lens, that has been the key to tackling the orientation and the progression of them to then kick them out for good. Chiropractic care essentially looks at helping kids with chronic coughs by focusing on three main elements of subluxation or stress stuck on the neurological system and avoiding medication if all possible. 
Now, chiropractically speaking, when we talk about subluxation, we're referring to stress stuck on to the brain and nervous system, especially within the upper neck, especially within the upper back regions, because these then lead to tension and fixation, which then prevent the ears, the nose, the throat, the lymphatics, and the lungs from then draining and plumbing properly and getting all of that mucus and congestion out of those areas. I typically share this with my moms whenever they bring their kids into the office of like, hey, within the first like week or two of care, you may notice that there's like some sickness that settles in or there may be some extra drainage or you may kind of see some irritation to the throat or you may see some weird bowels come through because when things start to um, like kick loose, so to speak, and there's extra drainage and there's plumbing from our ears, our nose and our throat and our sinuses, all of that mucus has to go into our lymphatics, which then goes into our gut, which then we have to eliminate out through our bowels so that it's not uncommon for these kids to experience some weird bowels within the first couple of weeks of care. And, you know, back to chronic coughs, when we talk about subluxation from a chiropractic standpoint, we're really talking about the neurological compromise that comes along with it. And so when we have this stress stuck on our nervous system or what's called subluxation, it then also alters our gut. It alters our neuroimmune function and it then leaves it in more of a sympathetically dominant state or stuck into the fight or flight side, which this is called dysautonomia or dysfunction or imbalance between sympathetic and parasympathetic or our fight or flight side and the rest digest growth development side. Now, when our body is stuck into this sympathetically dominant state or we're in dysautonomia or stress stuck on, this then creates increase mucus production and adds to inflammatory load within the body. And now when we talk about subluxation or stress stuck on, parents often ask like, what the heck causes this? And so when we talk about this neurological compromise or stress stuck onto the body, it's most commonly caused by things like abnormal in utero position. So breach or transverse or sunny side up positions birth intervention and trauma, such as C-sections, forceps, inductions, or vacuum extractions, simply because this impacts the most delicate and underprotected area within the entire brain and nervous system. Things like falls and slips and trips, and the, the accidents, especially with boys, that stuff happens more <laughs> often than we'd probably like for it to, or even for our little babies with too much time in car seats and baby carriers can really impact the way that things drain and contribute to the fixation or the tension stuck within the body. So when we start thinking about that, no matter what we naturally add in, that physical stress onto the brain and nervous system isn't really letting things work as well as it should. And chiropractic care really seeks to help children avoid medications and then thus preventing long-term immune system suppression and weakening that can then increase the risk of asthma, allergies, and autoimmune conditions later on in life. This is exactly why so many parents are turning to drug-free options like pediatric chiropractic care, which then addresses the root cause of chronic coughs. The first thing that really needs to be done to find out if chiropractic care can be helpful for your child is just simply setting up a consultation in the neurological exam where we can detect the presence of the stress stuck onto the nervous system or subluxation and that neuromuscular tension that's keeping things from draining. So often it's found that things like birth trauma, reflux, and even constipation have not really been fully taken care of. Yet, as the child grows, the stress stuck onto the nervous system or subluxation and chronic tension then contributes to other conditions like immune system suppression or chronic coughs. The neurological exams that we use within the office are called the insight scans, and we use those in our training and experience to let us know where to look most closely. Is it in that upper neck region? Is it the upper back region? Since those are the two most closely related to the function of our vagus nerve, the phrenic nerve, and the neuromuscular dynamics of our respiratory system. All of these systems can really affect a child's ability to kick the cough for good. And if you're concerned that this may be the case with your child, schedule a consult and an exam right away within our office. And if you're really looking for more resources, check out our website, or find our uh, Raising Healthy Kids Naturally playbook for you to be able to download. And so this playbook takes you through all of the natural solutions, not only for